Um, give us a cheer if you're in a couple here. Yeah. Yay, love. It's good. Yay. <laughs> love the old ball and chain. Um, but <laughs> I don't know if you guys have this dynamic, but I feel like in every couple, there's one who tries to, you know, be resourceful, save everything, and the other person who's just obsessed with throwing shit away. <laughs> That's like what they were born to do. Um, like in my relationship, I feel like I'm becoming my parents. I'm like, you know, we need to save, do everything. Like life is hard. And my boyfriend is just obsessed with throwing shit in the bin. <laughs> like, um, if, you know, I'll be cooking dinner and before I have time to put it in Tupperware, it's in the bin already. You know? <laughs> And I'm like, we both grew up poor. I don't know where you're getting this, like, Brighton mentality. <laughs> Have you done this gig before at Basement? Um, I actually did it for the first time last night. So, <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was, uh, I think it's always this room I associate with being, like, when you're a bigger comedian, you get to do this room because it's somewhere I probably come when I first started out just to watch the bigger acts. Yeah, it's just a really, the space here makes it really cozy I guess and everyone feels and it's very dark so it's good for laughter um so yeah I felt like it went well yeah I always feel because it's below street level you yeah. feel like you can hide away hide away yeah. and kind of how comedy should exist kind yeah. of underground yeah exactly um yeah I kind of just feel it's not it's not dingy at all it's just um just maybe we can just edit that out sorry I don't know why I said dingy it's not it's dingy, not dingy. It's, um, it's intimate <laughs> it's not dingy I mean like I don't my vocab's effed I don't know um it feels like you can try new things and um you'd kind of just recommend people to come to this room if you were like if they were like you know what's a good room for comedy I fucked myself over the other day because I went to the fridge um and I saw that the milk was expiring on the 13th and I was like oh sick today's the 13th I'll finish off the milk. So I start making myself two really milky cups of tea and with every sip I was like, mmm, tastes a bit weird. And then <laughs> in the next breath I'm like, girl, this is organic milk. You don't even know what expensive tastes like, you know. <laughs> Just like, down that shit, you're not throwing this away. Um, so I go, finish it all, and then I go to throw away the container and I realise that it's expired on the 13th of January. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> And it's now the 13th of Feb. Um, and I've just, you know, gaslit myself into drinking one month off milk. <laughs> it's so gross. I felt so sick and I had to tell someone, so I called my dad and he was so proud of me. 